Shalom, y'all. This is Religion Wink TV and my spiritual ear stay. Shout out to Tasha K, y'all. Welcome to all my new subscribers and to those who are coming aboard. Please hit that subscription box down below and let's get into this conversation. I believe Tasha K forced Wendy Williams to go ahead, file for divorce, and pretty much... Uh, repossess the car put her husband out just so she can stay the most blogged talked radio host in the world because if she would have stayed married to Kevin Helter Kelvin Hunter of course he definitely would have killed Wendy with all the alleged abuse and fighting and according to Avion Foster the 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 hitting and the choking which we're gonna get into that in the live later on but i'm just here to tie it all together for you why i did the two or three lives i did because of this the tangle weed web <laughs> the tangle web <laughs> the tangle weave web we weave right that's what i'm trying to say so, Avion Fauster, he's in the middle. Tasha K is there. Wendy, Kelvin, and the mi mistress, Sharina, a.k.a. Nikki, right? Charlemagne the God should be there, but he's coming up a little bit later on because there's news that just came out about him being involved in this whole spider web of deceit that I can pretty much see, right? So, basically, check this out, y'all. Tasha K has been known to push the envelope so many times, but somehow she got this man, Avion Foster, to come out and say he'd been sleeping with Wendy's husband since last year. Basically, as his boy toy in some kind of uh, uh, sexual harassment and abuse. It all started here with all them damn grapes on the table. By the time his damn wife got done with them grapes, there wasn't nothing left on that table but them cheese. I'm keeping it real, y'all. She fucked them greats up in that damn interview. But anyway, he had this eagerness, like, to tell his story. And it almost came from a place of, okay, some of it is believable. Others is full of shit. Like he said, Kelvin licked out his ass when he did not wipe his ass in this interview right here. And they got in the pool, and that's when they first, you know, had intercourse or whatever with each other, penetrating each other. So, that's why I said this live right here that I'm going to do about this young man. It has to go down when the children go to sleep, y'all. Because I'm going to get into it tonight. I am so sick of sitting around here like I don't have a voice and don't see what the hell is going on with the black community. Whether you bisexual, trans, lesbian, straight, gay, or whatever. Just like Queasy right here. Oh, well, let me say pansexual like Mona Simone, that the queasy, his wife, knew all along somehow that this man was sleeping with Wendy Williams' husband and she was okay with it. So, guys, I do mental health on Mondays here every evening around 4 or 5 o'clock East Coast time. If you guys want to know what um, psychosis is, which is being separated with reality, uh, disassociative disorder, borderline personality disorder. I think possibly that these two people right here, maybe even Tasha K, although I love her, might deal with some sort of uh, uh, separation from reality because some of the damn interviews this lady get, it baffles me. And her interviewing skills is not quite up to par. I can't wait to do an interview, guys, where you guys see me at work. But how we get to Wendy Williams and Kelvin, Queasy, Tasha, and, and Avion wanting to tell his story about how he'd been sleeping with Wendy's husband. Even when he sung happy birthday to her, he was sleeping with Wendy Williams' husband, y'all. So this leads me to believe, y'all, check this out. He said last year... Um, April 21st, I believe, or 20th, I did a video, go back and check the last two or three videos, on their anniversary, Avion's and Queasy's anniversary, look how shameful she looked putting her hair down, y'all, but she was in agreement, would you be in agreement that you know your husband is sleeping with somebody else's husband, let me know what your thoughts are down below about this whole entire shitty ass mess, right, anyway, 
um how these two get caught up how she know that uh he is dealing with her husband this guy right here admitted to dealing with homo sapi hypospadius which is basically having i believe some clitoris part or maybe not having a penis or he didn't get into it damn it tasha k and that's what we needed you to do we needed you to ask this man respectfully was he missing a penis or did he have an opening for a clitoris or did he have a clitoris and a little penis there what is going on tasha k not that i really matter you know miss religion wink tv over here gonna keep it godly baby but the world wants to know tasha k send him over here i'll ask him and next time you get an interview this damn good don't let him run away with the interview okay because for some reason it seemed like he trying to check clout chase and get what he can to come up off of this man right here who may be in cahoots and working alongside Avion, getting him to come out as well. Because they say Charlemagne the God slept with Wendy Williams, y'all, allegedly. So can you see how this tangled web is just keep going on and on and on and all the key players involved? Tasha K, I just hope and pray you ain't sleep with none of them and they ain't your baby daddy. Uh, <laughs> that was a joke. <laughs> anyway, it's funny how this guy right here... Uh, is involved now Kevin knows something about him and Jessica Reed and it's all coming out on um everybody's social media and platform and everything to the point where guys I want to show you how hard Wendy Williams is going in on Kevin she put him out the house I told you in the last live stream Wendy I'm tired of this she had the car repossessed and here's um footage of the car that Wendy took back. Matter of fact, she has a tow truck out there taking back all the cars, you all. So, it, it's getting deep. It's getting real deep. And like I said, Tasha K has a lot to do with uh, uh, poking the bear, per se. I mean, her aggressive style of getting content and going after the celebrities somehow has paid off for Wendy Williams. And um, Wendy has filed for divorce. Wendy Williams have left her husband. Wendy Williams have put um, her husband out. Wendy Williams have went and got the repossessions of the cars um, that was in possession of the mistress, Sharina, a.k.a. Nikki's um, hands. Let's see what else is going on here, how I can continue to keep tying it together. Now, Tasha K did an exclusive, which if people have exclusive, let me say this, guys. There is no need for you to need a Tasha K or a blogger. Turn your own damn camera on. Get monetized somewhere on YouTube, Facebook, social media, wherever you can. Turn that camera on and go viral yourself. That's all the exclusive you need. And then make them pay if they want to do an interview. Because you don't already spilled your tea. Now if they want to be in your presence and if they want to have, you know, hear it from out of your mouth then that's where you get paid, okay? Stop letting you, these bloggers use you like Tasha K. They say Gossip in the City was over there making deals with Cardi B. I mean, I keep up with this stuff, y'all, but my main thing is if I keep up with the Word of God, right, I won't need to keep up with this, and half of y'all won't be keeping up with this shit or doing this shit for us to talk about, such as Wendy Williams, such as Kelvin Hunter, such as Sharina, a.k.a. Nikki, who is mad at Charlemagne the God now because uh, of all the nonsense and, 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 and uh, surrounded Jessica Reed. All right. And um, you have Avion Foster, his wife Jeezy. You have Tasha K again, driving and spearheading all this content that... All of you on YouTube and even myself because I know a good story when I know one and I know how to commentate on one when I see one. And this is a good story because I'm going to come back live after this video. This video should make 599 and hopefully when I go live it's five, it's 600 but nonetheless 
I'm pushing up to 600 videos, you all. And I want to go live this evening, the, tonight, somewhere before 11 p.m. And I want to go over the comments and content I got from that first interview. Tasha K has a second interview out as well with this young man. So, guys, let me know what your entire thoughts is about me tying together the key players. Uh, some of the things that's been going on. Some of the news that's been dropping today. Some of the content that's going around. Uh, Wendy Williams is definitely uh, towing cars and, you know, repossession, repossessing cars. And, you know, tell, kicking her husband to the curb after all these years of supporting her husband. Knowing about it, allegedly, according to Avion Foster. Sleeping with Charlemagne the God, allegedly, according to Avion Foster. Having other sexual experiences with other men outside of her husband, besides Avion Foster. This is all allegedly as well. It's that Kevin could not, uh, uh, um, uh, 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 please Wendy sexually, so... Because he allegedly said, according to Avian Foster, that this woman was big and enlarged down below and didn't have any walls or whatever. So, guys, again, this is such a mess. But I do believe God can turn all their mess into a message. And the one thing I got from Avian Foster and the reason why my spiritual ear was ringing is because he said it had to take a man like Kelvin Hunter... To sexually penetrate him and have sex with him. In his words, to, to, to screw a man to know God. And with that being said, I'm going to leave you hanging here. And you're going to hear my response to the live. So please show up. Let me know what your thoughts are about this whole entire mess. Let me know about the commentary. If you like this video, if I tied it together, guys, hit that subscription box. Um... And remember, we sipping all the tea we can with no shade, talking everything up to Yahweh. Why? My spiritual ears stay. That's right, guys. And we're sipping on worldly tea, chasing it with spirituality. And with that being said, shalom, you all. I hope to see you all at the uh, uh, at the midnight live. <laughs> At the later on live, all right? And whether I see you on an upload, on a premiere, or on a live, thank you so much for your support. God bless you and have a great day.